Okay, what's up? This is taking me a while to do. I've had this for a while. I haven't had a chance to unbox it. So I'm finally gonna do it now. Yeah. This right here comes from Play XX from my good friend Kizret. He sent me some change. And if you don't know what that is. I'm going to show you what that is. So first off, oh, this shouldn't be hard to take stuff out. It's just an envelope. What the hell? Have you been in there so long that it just, everything got, whatever's in there is stuck? It's like glued on, what the hell? <laughs> oh, I don't even know what that is. That's, that's just like, that's nothing. <laughs> okay. So he sent me a note and he's telling me to just make a video and show how easy it is to put these together. And uh, yeah, I don't think they're going to be hard. Okay, so I got my card, I got my Kizrek, I got my free flow, and nice. Okay, this right here is the chain. I come in the sticker. And there's another chain. This one is silver. And this one is gold. So I'm gonna show you how easy this is, okay? And to show you how easy it is. Why isn't it easy for me to take these out? I don't understand. It's always childproof to me. Okay, I got my play excess stickers. I know where to put those. I know where I'm gonna put those. I know where I'm gonna put those. Okay, so this is a set I'm gonna use for installing a chain just to see how it it works, and then of course I'm going to use Bello. Well, I don't know. Maybe I maybe I can only use one, right? We'll see how much chain I have. That's that's what's going to happen here. We're going to see how much is here. If I have enough, I can put it on two sets. And if I do, <laughs> if I have enough to put on two sets, I will do that. Okay. I got two. I got two tiny little jump rings. Okay, there's two of them. Here is the silver chain. And how long is that? Yeah, it's just gonna be long enough for one. I wanted to do two. You can send me enough chain, dude. I was gonna put one on it. It's all good. I'm just gonna put it on Bella then. Okay, all right. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, so here's the two more. Jump. There. Okay. So I got a total of four jump rings, four jump rings. I don't want to lose them, but I have like whole, a whole bag. I have like a whole bag of jump rings, so that's all good. And it looks like, yeah, they're both the same length. So I got gold and I got silver chain. Now I'm gonna show you, I'm not gonna do this after all. I'm gonna show you how to put change on Bello. 
because I've been wanting to do that. And you're gonna need you're gonna need your tools. Yeah. So I got two different sizes. But these are what you're gonna need. So I'm gonna set those up real quick. I got two of these. These are like jewelry uh, pliers. This one's more for, for smaller stuff. This is kind of bigger, but this is all I got. I got my scissors. I'm going to cut. My cord. Start with. Remove my cord. I got my bellow. My bellow rings. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do this, but I want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to. I'm going to do magic. I'm going to do magic right now. These are my bellows. Yeah, these are my bellows. Okay, for bellow, I think I'm going to put the gold chain. So these already have jump rings included, so this is going to be easy. Okay, so you're going to grab a hold of one side and you try to get it closer to where it opens as possible. Yeah, and then you're going to grab the other side and what you're going to do, I guess you're going to, okay, so you're going to bend these apart so much that you can pull the chain out, okay? So I got one side, bend these apart, see? So it's long, so it's, a, it's bent enough so that you can slide your chain out, so there's two. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, if you are a weakling like me, this is probably gonna be tricky. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to be tricky but it kind of is. Okay, so you slide the chain into the hole. Now here's the fun part. Just bend it back to close it. And that right there holds it in place. Okay, now I have another set that I've already installed chain on. I'm going to use that for my length see what I like. So I'm going to have to take out a link or two. And let me see. Thinking right here. This is so easy. Actually, this chain is really, really thin. thinner than I'm used to and I have old eyes and I can't see real good. I'm having trouble seeing where the... where the thing is. Here it is. Okay. Okay, this is some high quality chain because I'm having trouble bending the link apart and that's only because I'm weak I'm a weak person okay <laughs> okay so now I'm going to drop my chain in the hole there it is okay see how easy that is see how easy Bend this back like that. A little bit more. And there you have it. And now the bellow has chain. Okay, so change of plans. I'm going to put them on the mini standards. 
AO2. These are my brass mini standards. So I'm just going to drop the chain in and they fall in nicely. Use this for a uh, go by. Get my link ready. Click the link like that. Look how easy that is. Look how easy. Now I'm going to bend it back. Like that. So now it's bent. And now I got one side. Now I'm going to adjust my length before I put the other side in. And I want it to be about here. There. Okay, where's, okay, here's, <laughs> here is the jump ring. This is the last part of the puzzle. Before I put that, I need to drop it in the hole like so. Okay, I'm going to hook the link like that. See how easy that is? That is super easy. you bend it back and there you and there you go and this is yeah this looks pretty good okay so I didn't end up using uh, these jump rings I'm gonna save them hopefully I don't lose them I lose everything apparently can't find anything this is a little shorter than I like this is a little bit longer but it's all good because you can always add more links later. You can also put half one color and half another color and customize your chain. So I'm going to play with them now and see how they work, yeah? <laughs> okay, so I got change. Check it out. Bello got gold. And AO2 mini standards got silver. And with the excess chain that I had, I made a dual blend color with gold and silver. I put them on my chromentums. On my chromentums. And it plays really awesome. And I want to say something. Uh, I may have had trouble, but it's because I'm a weakling. Yeah, I just I just don't have the strength to uh, pull things apart and put them back together easily. And and in my own defense, I don't have the best gear to work with, so that also kind of made it a little difficult. But for the most part, it's really not hard. To put this together and it's really worth it. I want you to know that it's high quality stuff. This chain is not going to fade with with time. The color is not going to fade. You won't have uh, you won't have it rubbing off on your fingers and that is something that happened to me on some other sets that I put, I installed chain on, but it was a color chain, it was like a purple chain, and the color, anytime you get a color chain, like from Walmart or something, it's not the best quality, it's gonna rub off, it'll fade away, and before you know it, your hands will turn dark, like you'll get, you'll get that residue on your fingers from playing with that. Now that will not happen with change. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're interested in trying 
a different material for cord, if you want different option, go for change. Go to play excess. If you're going to get a bellow, go for change. Go to play excess. And pick yourself up with some change, man. I like it. I think it's really, really cool. I wanted chain from the very beginning when uh, Keserek told me about the bellow that he was gonna, he had the idea to, to do this. I was like, put chain on it, man, put chain. So that was something that I really was looking forward to because I like the idea of the halo has chain. I wanted the bellow to also have chain and now it has change. So yeah, go check it out, man. It's good stuff. I know what I'm telling you. And it's really not hard to put together. I mean, I don't expect everybody to be weak like me from, <laughs> from just not, uh, I'm just real bad with, with like pulling things apart. But that's the reason why, is because this is high quality stuff. So if it would have been like rinky tinky chain or something, then it would have been easier for me to pull apart and stuff. But with that kind of quality, you're not gonna get the durability. The color won't stay, it's not gonna last. Uh, it rubs off on your fingers if it's not good quality. This is good quality stuff. So I want you to consider checking out change. Because it's totally worth it, man. I recommend it. Get your some. <laughs>
and you can play with them for a while. If you play with them for a really long time, you will feel discomfort, depending on how soft your fingers are. I have really soft fingers, so I, I enjoy a thicker chain. I can play with that longer. It's uh, durable either way. This is, this is all durable material. So I recommend if you're gonna get changed, try it, see if you like it. You can always modify it like I did and see what works best for you. So it's definitely something you should look into. Check out change.